So let's take a quick look at creating a 2D drawing for the brake pad and the brake pad base. So what we do is we we'll just click on the part and open it. And this should bring us into the, um, the model for the, for the, brake, uh, the brake pad and its support. So let's just fill the screen. And if we look at the, the view orientation like before, if we look, let's say, let's look at the front view. So you can see that the orientation is pretty good. So we need to create a drawing now. So we can do this in two ways. We can go file, new part, or, or sorry, new um, drawing. That's one way of doing it. Or we can say file, create um, drawing from part or make drawing from part. And when we do this, we need to pick the sheet size that we want. So we pick an A3 sheet. And this sh should bring up the drag views uh, drawing sheet. And here you can see all the different views that we could bring into the drawing. So let's start with the front view here. So if we're going to drag that in. And now if we move our mouse, um, we can get other views. So there's the, so let's look at, say that's the top view, the right view, the front view. And if we move the mouse uh, diagonally, we can get a, an isometric view. So I can put it here initially, accept, and then just move that down if we want. Okay, now you, you can, by clicking on it, any of the views there, we can do various things. For example, let's say we want the, to have a hidden lines, uh, hidden lines visible on the drawing. Uh, you can see that the hidden lines are visible as shown. You might want to get rid of sketches there, so I'll just click uh, sketches off. Okay. Um, you can do things like uh, center line, add center line. So if I click auto insert and select view, it should automatically insert center lines on the on the parts. You could also do things like um, add detail, for example. So say if I say detail view and I wanted a, a view of this section here, let's put a, a window or a circle around it and we can break it out and show it here like that. So you can add your title, so you can add notes, for example. So this should be, go back to annotation again. If you look at note here, you could say, put a note here. If you wanted to say that was say the top view, You could put up, you could name the other views, or you could put in a title for the drawing here if you wish. And if we go over here, and we'd say, say, so let's call this say a pad, base and pad. We'll type in brake pads. Should do for the moment anyway. And so you can add much more detail to this um, when you have when you have time. And when you're ready, <coughs> you can then go file print and once again go to page setup now for, before we do that so if we don't want to go directly to a printer or, or a plotter we could go to microsoft print pdf click page setup and let's make it scale to fit so we should get the a3 sheet uh, fitting on an a4 page so let's say we've got everything we need there so we go okay and this should, so let's call it say, break, pad, and draw. Okay, so that's a very quick um, introduction to creating a 2D drawing. It's more details on some of the tutorials that I've added on the, um, on the list. Um, so you need to create a PDF file of your break um, your brake pad and base and send it along with um, your report or in, insert it into your report.